people my people miracles do occasionally happen and the miracle that's happened is this stuff has actually sat on my bookshelf for nearly a year yep this has been sitting on the drink must review list for about 11 months in fact i got it at junior palooza last year so maybe we'll have the sound of happiness Smell of Happiness says, I'm in love. This is written up as a pot still stilled dry gin. So it's on the background, yep. It's a classic dry gin. And we all know my heart doth beat fondly for a good dry gin. Um, particularly when I've had a day like today. So I want to have a little bit of this in. Um, I'm going to pour a bit warm. This, this will go missing tonight assure you but this i wanted the recording this at the end of a um long day a nice long bike ride um port Phillip bay was just stunning today it's about what 25 26 degrees i was with my uh, procreations and the wife she helped me procreate and port Phillip was just at its absolute best resulting was even but the um i had sunglasses on the entire way i end up with a bit of a nasty glare headache and this is how i relieve my pain so okay the stunning day i had that resulted in me just feeling oh god i either dehydrate or just go to a quiet room and engage in some primal, primal screen therapy um apart from this it's a dry gin it's from the south coast of new south wales by memory it's from bateman's bay which is in uh, it's in the inland of Jervis Bay, which is basically an extension of Australian Capital Territory. There's a naval base there, okay? So it's the far south part of Sydney. Any further south then, I think you'd be in Victoria. So it writes itself up as a dry gin. I'm going to believe these people. I've met them a couple of times. Oh yeah. Yep. There's juniper. I looked this up online. It said that there's pepperberry in there. There's macadamia. <clears throat> this is one extremely workable dry gin. Um, and I'm reasonably certain that Uncle Dan might be stocking it. If not, there will be the um, website address and the write up so that if I, if, well, basically I can't tell you where it, where they where the socket is um they will it should be noted that this picked up a silver in the london spirits competition of 2021 it's in fact i got it in 2022 um yeah it's a very workable dry gin um i would be getting liters of this stuff into me in this coming summer because um we all know that this is going to be gin drinking summer as well as um a vodka summer i think i might Lash out, it's not in the room with me, but I've reviewed an Indian vodka, and now next week I'm gonna review a vodka made by an Indian in Australia. Um, the Indians, due, I guess, their long history of using oil and spices, have a very different take on booze to what um, us Anglos do. Um, even my much beloved favorite Indian gin, Hapusha, which is currently out of reach and out of sight, which has got green mango as a botanical and it works incredibly well. So next week I'm going to be doing um, Desi Daru by Yara Distillery and yeah, this is where the guy's been quite clever. Everyone assumes that it's the Yara that runs through Melbourne, that little river that everyone says run up, to, flows upside down, you know, mud on top, water on the bottom. Um, it's not. I was having a chat to the guy who makes it last night online and he's actually Punjabi. He's a Sikh. So we've got a, I've, I've reviewed a vodka, the Indian vodka made in India. And now I'm going to have a vodka made in, in Australia, made by an Indian with a whole shit ton of Indian spices in there. Um, well, I'll force the glass at least one of them, which I actually have an intolerance for, and that's fennel. So my creation to bring you only the best um 
So that's going to be next week. In the meantime, um, with this wonderful gin drinking weather coming through, get some of this. This is truly going to make um, a pain relieving GNT. Dry gin, GNTs, uh, cocktails. Um, this is more like a game, probably well, in a nimble pani um, or gin fizz. Yeah, get some really good quality. Um, you know, orange, uh, blood orange, um, mineral water, or and stuff like that. This would just it's pain relieving in a bottle, to be honest with you. Um, and now that I've finished this, um, I intend to go off and relieve my pain and relieve your pain from stop talking at you. I'm busy trying to figure out how long I'll be chatting to you. Um, but yeah, next week it's going to be a vodka um, by one. Um, his first name's Gunandi, and he calls himself Deep. Um, and there will be an interview because I'm going to organise running out to Craigie Burn and have a chat to this hopefully uh, fascinating individual. Most of the stories are meta fascinating. So, yeah, that's enough waffle out of me. I've wasted enough of your time. Mm -hmm. What you should not waste is any more time clicking on the link to grab this and hitting that subscribe, follow, share button. And I'll catch you around with me, uh, my, my vodka. And um, just a hint, I am actually going to continue making my own gin. I got told yesterday it's called a bathtub gin. Catch ya. Have fun. Here we go. Drink lots of gin. Lots of vodka. Lots of rum. Lots of um, gin, vodka, rum. Whiskey. Whiskey sours on a hot summer day. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah, that much of it. Catch ya.